Hi everyone. Um, I have a couple things to say, and this is kind of from my heart. Really from my heart. Um, there's a continent, it's North America. A uh, long time ago, people used to just travel up and down. At least my ancestors did. Can you tell me not to make it about the Indians? So I'm not. Uh, but I'm going to make a human face on this. You see, we all have a common enemy. Everybody in North America, even South America, has a common enemy. It's a monster of an enemy. It's became an, uh, this monster is growing tentacles. I mean, and it's us, the United States the Empire. Now, I got off this internet today, went and did some things of my own because I had a lot of things to sort out because a lot of shit hit me last night like a ton of bricks that I didn't know. Now I won't even get into it. First off, I saw people terrorizing, frightened people on buses, frightened, probably courageous people who were coming across the border. However you want to call it, illegal or legal, you know, um, I look at things differently because a lot of these people are indigenous and used to come across here all the time. Um, so, borders to me, I can't go visit my Mohawk brothers and sisters because they're in Canada and you can't cross that damn border. They've made it that way on purpose. It's very hard. Um, Alright, so these people are coming across. Why are they coming across, number one? They got terrorized when they did get here. Um, well, they left tyranny. I mean, obviously their families are... are things are so fucked up there that they're, they, these children were put... I mean, they uh, they probably even had to pay something to get their kids, or their kids were either kidnapped, one of the two, to get them out of a place that is so horrible. Who would cause the tyranny? The only terrorist I know is the United States Corporation and its allies. So let's put a human face. We they're human beings, and they got a right to try to. I mean, shit. I, I might be trying to flee the fucking. United States, if this WHTI program goes to the Indian reservations, which they're trying to push, and I'll explain that in a second, which means I'd have to get a, I'd have to go back to my reservation, get a passport, that WHTI program, and then when I left the reservation, I'd have to show my card to even go to a grocery store because I would be considered illegal. Strange world we live in right now. Uh, all I'm trying to say is. This world, this earth is for every human being. And we, a long time ago, even your tribes, wherever you came from, were free to come and go and hunt and blah, blah, blah. And if it was bad, most people helped other people. But these people may have lice and things. Well, I was a public school teacher. A third of the children had head lice. And it wasn't to Hispanic children. Seriously. So, I'm just completely baffled by the lack of empathy and humanity in people when those people's common enemy is the same as ours. The only reason they're fleeing, they're, I mean, coming here, leaving their parents, their family, and everything else. People say, oh, they're coming here to get Obamacare, free housing, and food stamps. They really want this medical attention? Come on, guys, start using your fucking heads. Man, we don't have a medical system anymore. I mean, we are third world status on the medical system. Number two, illegal immigrants, I'm going to have to say this, um, I knew a lady who, had, who went and picked apples, and she said it was horrible because her friends called her names. Because the only person that would do that work was... Um, people from other countries because they would do anything just to not live in a place where bullets were flying at them. 
Now, I know some illegals, and every one of them are damn honorable people, and they do work. That's what I don't understand. Um, I know a lot of white people and other peoples that don't work. Um, that live off the fucking government. I don't know. I tell you what. If and I do pay taxes, and if and I hate it, and I'm not. I mean, every time you go buy something, you're paying a fucking tax. I'm not gonna do income tax ever again. Haven't done it for a long time. Never will again, because I feel like that's just giving me my power to the government to go hassle more people, terrorize them, start wars. There's no wars in my name. Fuck that shit, man. And I want to know what happened to the human side of the people that used to live here. And I don't blame your ancestors for what they did to us. Well, I do blame your ancestors, but I don't blame you for what happened to us here in America. I'm talking about... It's not your fault. But by God, don't act ignorant and say... and start pointing the finger at other people who are trying to... And a lot of them are indigenous to... used to trade, goddammit, here in this land. I don't understand. These are invisible lines people call borders. Um, some people say it's the North American Union. That thing was signed by the corporations a long time ago. You got to see what they're doing to the rainforest down in South America. It's probably why some of the people are fleeing. They're fucking starving to death. They're dying. It's genocide. There's genocide going on there. And yet, we're afraid to have them come here because, because we have controlled resources by a government. This is a very wealthy land mass we live on. Yet all the resources are controlled because nobody will stand up to the government because it would take a mass group of people to do it. In my lifetime, I've only known one group of people who have stood up armed against the government. That happened to be the Sioux Nation. Oh, and speaking of that, there may be a third wounded knee. Feds are threatening third wounded knee with imminent domain land grab on the Sioux Reservation right by Pine Ridge. What the fuck, man? Do you not see those people that are coming across the border, those people in South America and their governments are all ran by our governments. And if you don't think they're not and you think the little games of Oh, the bricks and all that. It's not controlled opposition. Then you really haven't read history. And I heard people say, say if you don't know history, because history repeats itself, you know, you should look. Psh, this is all controlled. I don't even know what to say. I, I cried today. I, I have never so, saw so much apathy and self-serving righteousness for no fucking reason whatsoever. You know, if you took back, if we all did, took back this country, stepped in our power, we're powerful. There would be no governments. And then creation would thrive. And I'm talking about creation, I'm talking about human beings. Where the fuck is the being in you humans? So Earth wasn't put here for one race of people. It was put here for all peoples. Nobody better than nobody else. And I'm getting sick and tired of it myself. And I will leave you a few links. Can you, will you turn this off?